realairculture.com's coverage of Canada's Farm Progress Show in Regina, Saskatchewan is brought to you by Morris. We hear you. This is the inaugural trade fair for the CAT CT660 truck. It's Caterpillar's first foray into the Class A truck market. <clears throat> they uh, decided to do that to complement the rest of the line, dealing with the construction industry for as long as they have. They figured this would be a good fit. And I'd like to show you some of the features of the CT660. We'll start off at the front with the uh, distinctive CT660 grill. No plastic in it, all metal. The grill surround is a T303 stainless steel. The bumper is made out of the same material. Both are a three-piece design, so if any damage occurs, you've got an easy, quick repair. In fact, this is easy enough to repair. There's 10 Torx screws in the grill. You remove those screws, pull out the grill, open up the hood, you can stand up inside and undo the fasteners inside and these pieces just come off. The uh, hood is made out of a composite material called Meton. It's uh, extremely durable and it's very good for uh, paint adhesion. You don't have the little um, flaws you can get in a fiberglass hood. The uh, headlight design is a very modern design. They use a halogen beam bulb extremely easy to change and these fenders are, uh, are a thermal plastic material they're also bolted onto the side if you do have an extreme damage they're easy to replace but most of the time in most construction sites or anything it's not even going to get damaged <coughs> <coughs> got the distinctive cat logo on the on the hood and the grill the mirrors are cowl mounted so they stay in adjustment when you open and shut the door. And they have this unique forward and reverse breakaway feature. If you do hit anything, the odds are that it's not going to get damaged. They got a very large piano hinge on the door. Keeps it in alignment. It's going to stay strong for many, many years. This is a cat designed door handle they had in mind for guys that live in northern climates like this to have get your mitts in there and be able to open up the door easily. Hood latches are easy to maneuver. Hood's very easy to open. And they designed the ins underneath the hood for ease of maintenance. Most of the fluid levels you can visually check. And if you have to pull a dipstick, they're all easy to get at. Transmission, engine, check the oil levels fuel filter you can monitor the the uh, the uh, diesel level in here determines how plugged the filter is when it reaches a certain level you just change the filter <coughs> visibility is excellent they've got one of the largest windshields in the industry this is a two-piece design you can also get a one-piece windshield the advantage of a two-piece, if you have damages on one side, you can just replace one as needed. <clears throat> the steps are Caterpillar designed. They are uh, taken from the machine side. They're quite an aggressive grip on them, but they're spaced far enough that you can wipe your feet off and the mud's going to fall through onto the ground. Egress is very easy. You can use these for grab handles. The interior is very simple, but they used a lot of uh, voice of customer opinions on designing it. The interior is designed by Caterpillar engineers that have lots of experience on uh, ergonomics as far as machinery goes, and they applied that to the, to the interior of the truck. It's got a rather unique speedometer tachometer system that they borrowed from a high-end European automobile. It has the tack and the speedo on the same dial and it frees up a lot of dash space so you can put the gauges in there where they're easy to see.
This is a, a truck with a grain box on it. We also do uh, tractor units. They're, they're uh, just a day cab design at this point in time. You don't have sleepers available yet, but the market will dictate whether or not they get into that. Come around the other side here. Batteries are located on the side on the battery box here. It's easy to get at, easy to maintain. Inside this side of the cab, they paid a lot of attention to uh, making the interior so there's nothing that can really rattle or buzz or squeak. And uh, that's why there's, there's no glove box latch, there's no little cubby holes that got hinges on them and locks that'll rattle and, and they've done a very good job of that. This is one of the quietest vehicles I've ever driven in. Electrical system is extremely easy to, to get at. The power distribution box, there you go. <laughs> There's all the fuses and everything. That's okay. And putting it back is just as easy. Once again, grab, you can use that for a grab handle. The interior is designed, there's no carpet in it, so it's very easy to keep clean. You could open both doors, take an air hose to it, blow it all out, you're good to go. The cab is all aluminum to save weight. It, uh, it uses huck bolts, rivets, and bonding fasteners to put it all together, it has a five-year unlimited mileage structural warranty on the cab. And once again, you can see that the fluid levels, windshield washer fluid is easy to get at. Coolant level is easy to see, easy to get at. This is the air filter, five latches that pops out for service in the air filter. Extremely robust front end. The uh, ram tow hooks that are on the front of this truck and that truck are rated for 120,000 pounds. The uh, center tow pin that is an option for this is rated at 150,000 pounds. So basically you could hook a tractor or a whatever to pull the truck out and uh, not rip the front end off. So that in a nutshell is a quick tour of the CAT CT660 truck and hope you enjoyed it.